Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going better than fantastic. And I want to also thank all of you for your continued support of this channel. It really means a lot to me. Today. I want to expand upon yesterday's video. And that was us basically coming through the other side of narcissistic abuse. In this instance. Growing up in a narcissistically abusive home. So let me add a little more onto the story with my brother and I and his problems. If you have ever seen the movie Joker. That was a very good representation of my brother and mother's relationship. And if you haven't seen that movie. It might be something you might want to check out if you want to see one type of narcissistic home. Not all narcissistically abusive homes are the same. There are similarities. The narcissist parent or parents. Use the same tactics. But sometimes it's to get somewhat of a different result. I say somewhat because at the end of the day. It boils down to control. Narcissistic supply. And our parent or parents doing their best to purposely ruin our lives. That's right. They did this to us on purpose. You see my brother sided with my mother because I could clearly see what was happening to me. As a result of standing up. But on top of that. He really didn't like me either. And it was because of jealousy. There were certain things I was good at. Though I was having a rough time at life. I was failing school. As was he. And life was just a rough rough situation at the time. But. I had a few personal likes and talents that gave me something to do at times. That now and then brought me some amount of joy. And we know. The narcissist parent or parents. And golden child siblings can't stand that. They can't stand to see the scapegoat happy. Well this was another reason why my brother sided with my mother. Because if you were against me. That's the side my brother wanted to be on. Now I won't give too much away regarding the Joker movie. But it's been out for a good while. So I will speak a little about it in reference to my brother. Just like the Joker movie. My mother was sickly. Like his mother. And also like the Joker movie. The main character acted like the well-meaning. Loving. But extremely extremely odd and socially awkward son. But underneath all of this. There was a deep anger. Because like in the movie. My brother I believe understood my mother was 100% responsible for him being the very strange man he became. I mentioned how my brother paints my mother as a saint. Though it may seem like that's how he seen her from his view of things. This isn't the case I believe. Because when I was no longer in the home. My mother started to scapegoat my brother. Because remember. The narcissist always needs a scapegoat. They always need one. My brother started to get older. And started to realize his life was passing him by. No one to have a romantic relationship with. Heck. He didn't even have the first steps on how to do or have such a thing. No real friends. Except for this person he would meet here and that person he would meet over there. That he would tell half-truths to. In order to get them to feel sorry for him. And they would extend themselves to try to help get his life on track. Which wasn't what he was or is interested in. He was and is interested in supply. Because that's all he's been trained to know. And that's all he's been trained to get. And because he has been caught in this horrible loop for so long. He would scream and holler at my mother. Which was exactly what she wanted him to do. This is the long con ladies and gentlemen. My mother planted a seed deep in my brother's mind and life. And she knew he wouldn't be able to take it and he would explode sooner or later. 
which was her chance to once again be the victim. You see. The narcissist no matter it be in the short term or long term. They love to induce rage in their targets. Because it allows the target to act out and be seen as the narcissistic abuser. When the real narcissistic abuser receives love and help from those that feel they are the victim of their so-called crazy son or daughter. Well. I was gone. And my mother had no more of a scapegoat to call upon. But she knew this rage in my brother would soon show itself and my mother would be there to bask in the narcissistic supply that would result from this eruption from my brother. But. If my brother needs to side with his narcissistic abuser. Instead of siding with me. The person that really loves him. He will side with his narcissistic abuser. Because my mother seen the jealousy. He had for me early on. And she trained. Literally trained him to hate everything about me. And the training she put him through it really worked. It really did. Now. Here I am. I grew up in a narcissistically abusive home. I've had relationships in various parts of my life. Where I met one narcissist after the next that tried to ruin me. And to finish the job my mother had started. But somehow I'm here talking with you. And you are here talking with all of these people in the comments section. Working hard to put your life back together. My brother can't even self-reflect enough to do such a thing. This is why I say. Yes. We lost. We lost out on a normal childhood. He lost out on normal healthy relationships. We lost out on a lot of life chances. But we are still here. In the game. Working hard to better ourselves. And to try once again to do better this time. People like my brother are sadly caught in this loop of narcissism. Where they just can't get out of it. And our narcissist parent or parents were or are in the same boat. And in that they really lose. Just like a shark they know one mode. That's it. They will never know real joy. Even for a moment. Because their narcissistic programming is always working. It's always overriding a brief thought to do something different. If there is even such a thought that might cross their mind. My brother like my mother don't seem to have the ability to change. They are in a fixed state. There's no. Oh my god. What is going on here? I have to fix things. We grow. We get wiser hopefully. And we learn. And we try to do better. My brother doesn't even seem to be anywhere close to having a life breakthrough. And if you have a brother or sister like mine. I think you can relate. And for those that may be a bit more socially less awkward. Meaning a covered narcissist brother or sister. I'm pretty sure you've seen where they fake to have seen the light. Then they are right back to trying to covertly ruin your life all over again. It never changes. And then you think to yourself. What is with them? Can't they see the bigger picture of life? Don't they understand what happened to us growing up? Why don't we join together and help one another? Nope. They can't see it. They might be able to convince you for a moment they have seen the light. But it's a lie. And you just walk away thinking. Isn't that a shame? My mother never lived a normal life. Nor my brother. And though I count myself in that mix as well to a degree. But I don't. Because I never completely lost myself to the pain that growing up in a home full of narcissists causes. Because being completely losing oneself to the pain leads to turning to the dark side so to speak and becoming a narcissist because that's the narcissist's goal create as much trauma in your life to where you completely snap and break emotionally and mentally and you split and you lock your true undeveloped self deep down in a mental box wrapped in chains thrown to the bottom of a deep ocean and the false narcissistic self is all that's left yes I pray for my brother every single day. Every single day. Yes I lost. But he really really lost. And it does make me sad. But. But. I believe that I'm blessed to be talking with you today. And working hard to have a better life. 
as mentioned by a subscriber. I once spoke with a therapist like they did as well. Who told me? James. You know more about this stuff than I do and I went to school for it. You know it so well because you lived it. And you came out the other side. You are so fortunate that you didn't end up like your brother or worse. It's a miracle you turned out as normal as you did growing up in such a messed up home life. And I will say. You are blessed and fortunate as well. Not that you had a narcissist parent or parent. But that you came out the other side and you are here with us. Working at bettering yourself. It's crazy. How did we make it and our siblings got stuck? Why me God? But I also tell God thank you. Thank you for rescuing me. Guiding me and loving me. Thank you. Thank you for letting me share my experiences with others so possibly they might help someone that was once in my shoes. And you. You have a powerful message as well. It's time we start to use it. Use it to bring awareness and change up a few things. So others like us might have a chance at a better life. Well I think that's a good place to stop. Let's see what we can talk about tomorrow. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.